So we're here at London Colony, which is Arsenal's training ground, and it's also the training base for England for the next few days ahead of the upcoming internationals. Now, the team have just arrived, as you can see, led out by Fabio Capello, and they're just starting their training session now. A few lunges, a bit of ball work before things are really stepped up. Now, there's massive media interest here today, as you'd imagine, when the England squad turns up anywhere. And uh, the media only have 15 minutes to watch part of the training session, just the light warm up before things really get serious and they start discussing the tactics which of course we aren't privy to so we'll be moving on after that and leaving the boys to it and the England captain John Terry he is training but will he be fit won't he be fit I guess we'll find out tomorrow and it's really good to see Wayne Rooney back out there after um, yesterday's little incident nice to see him back so here's Fabio Capello and John Terry arriving for their final press conference before the big game tomorrow. The world's media are all waiting upstairs, so let's head up there and see what they've got to say. Today I'm taking a break from the usual adventures in the countryside and I'm slowing things down a little bit for a more spiritual day. I'm going on the Bolton Faith Trail. Before entering the mosque, it's compulsory for all women to wear a headscarf. And as I've never worn one before, Yusuf here is going to show me how to put it on. So how do I wear so this, Yusuf? You put it on the top. Okay. Cover your hair. Just a bit on the side. One, one end's on the bottom, the other one's on the top. And just a little knot on the side. Cover the hair? That's it, yeah. Does that look okay? That's fine, lovely. Thank you very much. This is Alan Devonshire. He may look black and white, but unlike me, he's actually claret and blue through and through, named after West Ham legend Alan Devonshire. So I'm here in Mark Tompkins' yard to meet Alan Devonshire the horse and Alan Devonshire the man. Ow. <laughs> Trainer Mark Tompkins is no stranger to footballers and horses named after footballers. I have called one or two after them, after old Sheffield Wednesday footballers, you have know. You? I had a waddle once, he was a bit he was a bit slow, waddle. Did he have the little uh, flick? Yeah, uh, well no, he was he was just a bit he was a bit slow, he was unfortunately. I'm here at the new Wembley Stadium, but it's actually the old Wembley Stadium which features in our report today because I'm joined by one of the luckiest men in the world because not only is Dan Hipgrave about to marry me in two weeks' time, but it was also his band Top Loser who were the last British band to play at the old Wembley Stadium. What was yeah. that gig like? It's a novelty, isn't it? <laughs> you interviewing me. <laughs> yeah, no, it was fantastic. It's, it's weird, I was just saying, I, I've, not been, um, I've not been back since the, the old stadium was knocked down. And uh, the last time I was here, I was playing in front of 98,000 people, so it was a, quite an unusual day, a big day for my career, definitely. And was it an emotional night? Because obviously the last night, everyone knew the stadium was going to be knocked down. What, what was the atmosphere like? It was emotional. People were nicking seats and, and <laughs> digging up turf and taking whatever they could as a bit of memorabilia, really. Did probably probably just sell on eBay at the end. Um, I didn't, actually. Um, I was probably too drunk, actually, <laughs> to, uh, to remember to take stuff. The Pennines, known as the Spine of England, are one of the country's special places. It's full of peaceful, unspoilt landscapes, rich in history, and getting on your bike is a great way to see it all. 